Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna go over the spline deformer object in Cinema 4D today. Before I get started, huge hat tip to Spencer Dickerson who came up with this technique. Give him a follow on X, he's a great follow and he posts a lot of quick tips on there which are great. So we just launched a new pack called Magical VFX Elements and these are power streams. And these are really great Alembic files which you can drag and drop into almost any application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these animations and we're gonna customize it so that we can have a lot more flexibility. And we're gonna do that using this spline deformer tool. So the spline wrap gets a lot of press, but this one right above it, the spline deformer object does not get used too much. And it should because it's pretty powerful. Once we download the magical power stream, we're just gonna drag in the Alembic and here it is. So let's say that we really like this electricity type look, but we don't like this spline shape. We don't like the circle. We wanna maybe have this be a letter or a number. So we are going to start with a spline. And when we use the spline deformer tool, let me actually add this in here. So we'll add this one. If we click on it, we have some options here, which is original spline and modifying spline. So we have to prepare two splines. The first one, we wanna mimic the shape of the object that we want to deform. And this is pretty easy since it is a circle. So we'll just add a circle spline and we're gonna scale that down to about the size of this one. We'll rotate it 90 so it's flat and we're gonna scale this to exactly the same size. Now we need a second spline, which we are going to deform this, uh, this geometry into. So the second spline is going to be whatever you want. We'll just do a text spline, and let's do the number one. We'll make it a chunky font here, maybe something like Montserrat. Montserrat, we'll do extra bold. We're gonna scale that down, because we're at a pretty small scale here. All right, so here we go, we'll put this right in the center. All right, so the way this deformer works is we wanna put this inside as a child of the object that we want to deform. And then we put the original spline as the circle, and then the modifying spline, we're gonna put the text object here. All right, so there we go. We have taken this electricity and we have morphed it into the second spline, which is pretty great. There is uh, not a perfect distribution here, but we can play with uh, use length. We can check that on, and we can also check on full polygons. That's gonna help a little bit. All right, then there's a few other options you can do like radius and B-spline approximation, but honestly, this is already looking pretty good. So if we hit play, you can see that we now have that electricity look, and that is based on this new spline shape. And you can drop whatever you want in here. We can go ahead and put a star in here, scale that down. Let's take that star and make it so that we have five points, and we'll go to that spline and drag the star in there instead. And you can see how quickly and easily we can take that base animation and we can transfer that to whatever spline we want. So it's a great way of taking an asset and then making it a lot more of a customized type asset for whatever your needs are. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. You can grab these magical elements if you want in our store. Otherwise, give Spencer Dickerson a follow and thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.